burning knob twiddler? <laughs> oh boy. Wait, are these shoes? Do I not have shoes yet? <laughs> They're shoes. All right, welcome to Tiny Rogues. I'm jumping blind into this game, but apparently it is roguelike of the year. Uh, the Between Heaven and Hell update just came out. It's 0.2.1 now, but it's basically a 2.1 version of the game. I think I'm just gonna jump in, start a new save here. Um, there's apparently tons of classes, like 60 plus classes, but we obviously only start with one. We have the hero. You gain luck depending on how good your alignment is. So this is like the smiley face with a little uh, halo on it. Um, and our alignment is already plus one. So alignment, I don't know what alignment is, but we'll have to find out. Uh, I'm jumping in like completely blind. I've never actually seen any proper gameplay. So we're in the pit. Welcome young traveler. I am here to help you get going on your journey. Move with WASD, dash with space. Okay, I'm invincible to attacks. All right, so I can press Q to bomb. Yep. All right. Natural. To defeat stronger foes, you will have to arm yourself. So there's a sword. Looks like a staff, maybe, and a bow. So picking up items with E. Okay. So I'm picking these all up, and then F to open this. And then this is my weapon slots here. So if I go like this. What is it? This looks like a shield, maybe? So the sword has actually has some distance to it. If you want to know more about the current status or status, you can open the character panel with C. Fo a new trait. There's traits as well. Oh man, this is stat heavy, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try the, uh, the bow. That seemed pretty good. Okay, so we killed the room. Bear with me for a moment. Oh. Okay, there's a pair. Pairs increase dexterity, meat increases your strength, and candy increases your intelligence. Grants XP, and you can learn new traits. Increases the damage of weapons. You can check the scaling of your weapon by investigating the letters on the colors of strength, dexterity, and intelligence in the description. Okay, so yeah. I think it's basically just, yeah, they do different things. We'll figure it out. Um, so I'm pretty sure we have like a certain amount of decks. We have two, two, two with the hero, and uh, this weapon scales with strength. This weapon scales with dexterity, and I'm sure the staff, yeah, with intelligence. So, we get all these. We do get all of them. Okay. And this room grants. F I think it said five souls. Okay. So we get five souls. I'm not sure what that is. Four to five bombs. I'm going to take the dexterity. Oh boy. Now what was that fire? Is that just lava on the ground? Okay, I guess so. One soul heart. It's like a shielded heart. We don't have any keys yet, but... We'll take the extra HP. Oh, he jumps. So I think... This is like infinite ammo. And yeah, soul heart's quite nice. Contains... A simple rewards chest, but it has, it's not locked, so we can go in here and open this. Okay. E to open. And we got a key anyway. Okay, perfect. Cursed candy. I, I don't think I like curses. Let's just avoid that. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm sure it's bad. I guess if you really want to get something, you could go with the curse. Ooh, this is lucky. Plus three intelligence. I'll take that. I mean, we might switch to a, a mana build at some point. And we level up. It looks like the lollipop only gave one XP still. Okay, periodically mark the lowest health enemy with Rogue's Mark. Rogue's Mark is a mark that guarantees a critical hit and grants Rogue's Reward. And Rogue's Reward is a mark reward buff that grants 20% critical hit chance and lasts eight seconds. The damage from critical hits is multiplied with your critical hit multiplier. You currently have 11% critical hit chance and 200% critical hit multiplier. That's a lot of information. So increase your luck for a chance to get four choices. 
Explosion damage inflicts burn, and burn damage is dealt. Additionally, is dealt. Oh my god, this is so much. <laughs> On non-triggered, non-triggered hits are hits that come from attacks that are not triggered themselves. Okay, barrage of three ice shards. I'm gonna try this rogue's reliability. I might go heavy into. Uh... Ooh, I guess we go for a helmet. Maybe get some armor. Oh, we got a boss. Time to feast. Oh yeah. Wait, he's the only enemy in the room, so I just get like I just get crit hits. Wait, that was disgusting. So that was so Oh he's he's not dead. But because the rogues mark because the rogues mark uh, affects the lowest health health enemy. I'm j oh it doesn't have it doesn't have full range here actually. Where is he? Okay. The bow doesn't have full range. I didn't. I didn't realize that, but it does. It does have fall off. So we defeated a boss. We got a soul. Ooh. Okay. Maybe we got a reward here. Okay. A top hat. Fifteen equip load. A non-triggered lucky hit. Summon an exploding dove that deals two hundred thirty-eight to three hundred fifty-seven explosion damage. Evil deeds increase your alignment instead of decreasing it. Well, that doesn't that work for my character? What does he do? Where's my little, like... Where's my stuff? What, what happens with alignment? There's so much information in here. Uh, something happens with alignment. I can't remember already. Uh, plus one block. So this is an offhand. But I think... But I think because this is a two-handed weapon, I can't use a shield. So I'm going to grab this top hat. An attunement. Was that a was that a warning not to fall in that? Okay, I'm wearing this. I've also got an amethyst ring, which is plus one heart. I think I started with that though. There's a lot going on. I am trying to absorb as much information as I can. Eat to interact. Gain favor. Thirty souls. I think I only have fifteen. Yeah. Fully recover, attune items. Okay, some items need to be attuning before their effect starts working. Attuned all equipped items. Was that a good idea to do now? Attunement. I, I don't know if that actually did anything, but well, I guess we'll find out. Locked chest that contains a magic weapon. Well, oh, these both are locked. We have a key. What's our uh, intelligence at? We're at six intelligence. You know what? I gotta remember the range isn't perfectly long. Sapphire wand. Cold damage. You know what? Let me give that a try. It's quite fast, but I'm not sure I like the damage. It does do it pretty fast though, but the range isn't great. Uncommon weapons. And we're locked, so we don't have any. Whoa. Burning a knob twiddler? <laughs> this looks like a flail of some sort, because it's it's scaling on strength and uh, dexterity. Very short range though. Is this a bat? Ace Ball Bat plus one. So you can get plus ones on these. Prism staff. Far range. Okay, let's grab this. And let's try putting that here. Wow. Wait, that seems pretty good. Grants three random dice. What are dice? Wait, this seems pretty good. Because it's going to... Okay, I'm getting dice, and is that a bow? What does dice? What does dice mean? Is it? There's something in here now. Okay, these are the dice. Allows rerolling offered traits in trait selection. Rerolls upcoming rewards for next rooms. Okay, I'm not gonna go for the curse intelligence. Uh, curse intelligence, but I'm so confused. Wait, so why was it red? So I used all of this, right? And then what happens? 
What's up with this? It seems like I can just use it forever. I, d I don't know. Couldn't tell you. A random blessing, sure. I think I would like to switch the uh, dash to shift. I feel like that makes the most sense. Grants a random consumable blessing. Fortune Blessing. Grants Fortune Blessing on Conception. Fortune Blessing is a shrine status effect that grants plus one luck in last 60 seconds. So I can consume that at some point. Wait, do I need to break this open? Not locked. Well, I don't have much money. I'm assuming you have to spend money at the tavern. I'm just going to go for the, locked, the not locked chest. Yeah, I would really like to change the dash to shift because the space bar is a little bit awkward for me. Power shard grants one XP. I think I just used that, right? Yeah, I just used that. What is random resin? <laughs> what is that? Do I take the strength though? I'm gonna go for the strength. I don't. I don't know what resin is yet. So, unless I don't have a better a better option, because like one XP plus strength is great. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. And plus intelligence, of course. That Does those explosions hurt me? I don't really know. I, I haven't been hurt, so I'm not really clear on that. Gra guaranteed body armor or ranged weapon? Like, I'm kind of deep into intelligence here. And do I have armor on already? Is this my armor? Yeah, this is body armor, but it's common. Oh, this is the alignment thing. Okay, so I get a cape. But I'll try a different one. He's got a Santa hat on. Okay, Lich. On floor two. Okay, I'm attacking faster now. Oh, I got hit. Oh, that's my soul heart gone. Okay, we are doing disgusting damage, I think. So even though I'm doing like an intelligence build, I feel like the lucky hit is still kind of working. Also, I don't understand. Am I, like, losing stuff for using the red mana? I don't understand what the red mana is all about. We got a lot of souls for that one. Ooh, gold? Rare offhand. But my equip load is too high. Plus one block, plus two armor. Handcuffs. Rare gloves. Disable your offhand. But your weapon is considered a two-handed weapon. But why would I want to do that? <laughs> I don't want to... Disable your offhand. Adds plus three to unarmed strength scaling. What? Unarmed damage is body damage? I'm going to put the shield on. I don't know if... Okay, this says it's not usable. So I don't think I'm able to use this. And it makes my equip load too heavy? Is that why? No. For Okay, so this can be used with this. No, it can't. Okay. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe we can sell stuff later. I'm gonna stick with this, uh, this staff for now, though. We got a forest or jungle. Okay. I don't know what this does. Attune items. I really don't know if that did anything. Okay, intelligence again. Oh, things are getting quite, quite crazy. I don't understand. I guess because the dr the mana drain is slow, or the mana usage is slow enough that I'm able to just keep using this weapon. I'm going to assume that's what's happening. Get more intelligence. Cursed cake. It's locked. It's a locked door anyway. So let's just go for the key. I mean, honestly, this this weapon feels very good. We'll go for strength. I think that the just XP is just good to have. I got a hit. Are those like flying carrots? Okay, we do level up. I don't know if we get health back for that or not. This is all strength. On the tally of eight melee attacks. Nope. 
On the tally of five primary attack hits at close range, mark the enemy with fighter's mark. It has to be close range, though. Your attack speed is always your weapon's base attack speed, but percentage modifiers to attack speed instead apply to base weapon damage at 200%. Okay, let's try that. So we're always going to be attacking at this speed, but any... any um, Ooh, lock chest. We have one key. Do we go for the magic weapon? I think we do. So anytime we're like we're supposed to be attacking faster, we're instead gonna be doing more damage. And it does seem like we have to like layer our attacks with these triple. What is this? Happy Shadow Grasp Tome. What? So it has a cursed hit? What is cursed hit? It increases cursed hit chance. Cursed hits have have to succeed two rolls to deal a critical hit, but it deals 191 to 1232 dark damage. I feel like that's stupidly good. I don't know. Am I cursed by using this? Gloom is a stackable dark ailment that increases the damage taken from cursed. Okay, this sounds great. That's a horrible attack, though. Oh my, that is horrible. Sell weapons and equipment. Okay, I think I need to bomb my way in here. Sweet. Alright, let's sell some stuff. How do we sell it? Okay. Welcome to Lucian's Pawn Shop. Got any equipment or weapons you're looking to sell? Drop any items you like on the carpet. Okay. Let's get rid of the sword. Sure. Take some gold for the sword. Apprentice wand. Sweet. This should sell pretty good. Seven gold. Okay. I should probably do the fortune blessing soon. Can I use... I can use this now with this. I think, am I using this? Am I... Okay, so I can't use it with that weapon, but I can use it with this weapon. I want to keep that, and then I'll get rid of the bow. Uh, let's go buy something. Precise blowgun. Mana potion. Last 10 rooms only. Honestly, I don't know if I want to... Wait. Applies a random enchantment modifier to a weapon. Does it... Oh, it costs 37, though. Summons a jellyfish companion. How much does it cost? 15 gold. Is this a companion slot? Increase lightning damage. Okay, I'm going to try this. I don't know if I put this in a... Comp Is it this spot here? Wait. I don't understand. Do I just, like, use those? I don't think I have much money, so... I can't tell if this is good or not. It looks like it has infinite range, though, so that is good. That does a lot of damage if it hits. Okay. I can see the benefit of the damage. Okay, we go for the bombs. We have no... I don't know. I can't tell if this is good or not. Like, I think it's doing ridiculous damage. And the jellyfish just seem to just work. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, we don't have any boots yet. Let's do, go for boots. You disrupt nature's peace. I will stop you. Oh, it's a mandrake. He's kind of—it's kind of hard to hit with this thing. You gotta like go ahead of it. it might be one of those situations where you want to use this. Yeah, this just seems like really good damage. Wait, where is he? There he is. Okay. Who cares about nature's peace? You made me angry. This is now personal. Like the thing is, you can hit like every attack. Every single of these uh, these beams on the same spot on the enemy. So you can hit three three of the damage. Like this does 117 to 436. It's not great, but it is times three. Gauntlets. On the tally of 10 primary attacks, shoot three seeking missiles. 
And they each deal like 700 to 1,000 damage. But what am I using for gloves right now? I don't have any. Okay. I was going for boots, but like, I don't have any periodical effects. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go for these. So I, I don't know if this counts as, as one primary attack or three if I hit three hits. I hope it's three. Because that would be crazy. All right. Uh, I think we do a full recovery. And I think we still go for the, the strength here. What does it do? What, is, what does strength do? I don't know what this um the yellow beams are. Oh, proximity defense. So I think it's like if you're within that de uh, that area, they're stronger maybe. Rare weapons. Agony staff plus one. Primary attacks inflicts vulnerability. Two hundred weapon disables your offhand. Okay, all wound damage is physical damage. Cross glaive. Does not scale with intelligence though. Happy Toad Plague Scroll. Companion sign? The, the stats are off the screen, man. How do I read? Okay. I can't even read that. I think I'm all about staffs this run. Let's let's try. Let's try this. Okay, so it's a single beam. This does a lot more damage, but it's a single tar it's a single beam instead. I just went to the lock chest with no with no keys. I think I need to kill that. I think I need to kill that thing, the tombstone. Yeah, that would have been great to ha if I had keys. Oh my god. I don't know how I survived that. That doesn't seem very good. I can't tell if the beam is better or the cursed. Uh, let's get a key. Okay. Yeah, the missile seems great. What is that? Toss a key. Sure, let's try it. Where are we? Holy. Illegal eggs? Are these a thrown what? There's a thrown item. A. Illegal spider summon tome. Wait, primary attack deals 691 to 1455 thrusting damage. It costs 31 though. I can't buy that. Two keys. Money bag. Epic companion. Someone's a piggy bank companion. Primary attacks. Each piggy bank grants 1% increased damage per gold you have. Huh. Banana. Someone's a monkey companion. No, I don't care about... Uh, blood vial. Each leech grants 10% damage dealt to health. What the heck is going on, man? There's a charm. Plus one stamina. Snail shell. This costs souls, though. I, mean, I have 25 souls. So I'm assuming you can only have two companions is the whole point. Like I can summon out the two of these jellyfish. Hex charm grants 25% increased effective debuffs. Is that good for me with my debuffs? Like the vulnerability? I don't... There's too many things going on. I don't know if I want to go with the spear. The illegal eggs. This sounds interesting, but I don't have enough money. Can I not get, like, a couple dollars, please? If I had just a little bit more money, I could, I could actually be busted. Wait, I think I can sell in the middle. Can I sell here? Okay, sweet. So I think I will sell this. It sells for 23 gold. Wait. <laughs> How much does this sell for? 16 gold. Okay. Is that telling me that, like, this thing is actually better? 
Am I being dumb? Because the scaling is A. Oh, man. I don't know. I... Let's... Let's sell the Fortune Blessing. I can't sell that. Okay. This might be crazy, but I'm selling the Agony Staff. And let's buy this guy. Okay. I need the Spider... Spider Summon. What? Did those home did those home in on things or what? What is companion sign? Companion sign is a debuff that makes the target take 50% increased damage from companions. Okay. Sure. How do we go back up? Where's the staircase? It's right here. Okay, I don't I don't know what's happening. I'm gonna grab this for XP. Let's just throw this down, and see what happens. This seems like I just spray, spray fighters all over the ground and I just win at some point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll get a dexterity again? Sure. I mean, I'm not really, I'm not really sure what's going on. One charm. I don't think we have a charm yet. Is this a charm? Or is this a charm? Accessory? I think this is the charm. So let's go for that. This is the set item. I don't. I, probably, probably like a set of items you get can give you a bonus. Oh boy, there's two of them. Oh, so they are attacking. Actually, the spiders seem great. So the spiders are homing in on on him. So I just gotta. I just gotta. Okay, that seems busted. I just drop spiders on the ground and they all attack. And they increase the companion damage. We got three epics. Or rares. Suppression. Suppression prevents one hit of damage taken only during boss fights. Refreshes each floor. On dash, kick the nearest enemy. Okay, okay interesting. Increases damage 10% to bosses. I, I think like one safe hit is good. Sure. Oh, these are charms down here. So you can get several charms. Okay, cool. Now I have shield. I didn't notice that. I'm not sure what these are about. Also, like... I'm not sure what a tuning means. I feel like there's a two-minute one out of one here. I'm not really sure. My damage is increasing quite a lot. Also, what's the... uh? Gain favor. Gain a heart container. Oh, I can choose one. I think I just want an extra heart. Yeah, sure. Drops loot when shattered. Sure, I've got a lot. The spiders are making me concerned. I, I think that they're enemies. My spiders are crazy! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm assuming I have to bomb this. Repairs all armor points. So this must be this. Yeah, the two armor. And one block. I'm not sure what the block means. I'll go for a, a dexterity here. It's kind of rude that you have to go through the curse if you don't have any bombs. These spiders are crazy, man. Holy. Okay, we leveled up. Three strength things again. Reduce global tally threshold requirements by one. Additionally, reduce glo global tally requirements further per maximum point of block you have. I mean, that's going to make that one effect happen more often. I do have two dice to re-roll. Thrusting damage from you and your companions. Does my Do my spiders do thrusting damage? They do do thrusting damage. Oh, this is, wait, this is kind of crazy, no? I'm going to take that. I think that makes my, my, my spiders crazy good. I, I don't know if I should get more dice. Honestly, I need to look at, like, these dice more. I, so this is a trait selection, but this, I can click this right now and it'll change what's rolling here. But I'll go for the, the more dice.
I think my spiders are doing very good. We got extra dice. What did we get? Got a golden dice. Rerolls offered items from shops, armories, and boss rewards. Allows you to exchange a trait with a random new trait. Okay. I don't really need to sell much right now. I still have room, so I'm gonna grab gold. Was that a 2,000 damage? Oh my god. Where could it lead? Let's find out. Rub the lamp. Am I going to regret this? Ooh. I think I would like might, please. Wait, what just happened? Oh my god! It's plus four now. Try your luck. Sure. One gold. Oh, it gave me a key. Knight armor. Grants 10% increased damage per maximum armor point you have. Okay, that's good to keep. This is great. One soul heart. What is going on? We have so much health. I'm gonna bomb this thing. It should break, right? Yeah. Oh, I got dice. That was a great choice. Drops gold when bombed. I'm doing 5,000 damage. Alchemy stash, lock chest that contains multiple potions. Nah, I don't really care for potions. I haven't really been doing that. Cursed offhand? Nope. Oh, companions. I've got a block here from like the boss. Um. Oh boy, that was my free block. Yeah, no holding back. Except that the uh, boss is going to die in like two seconds. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my item synergy is just off the charts. So how do my block come back? What is this? Vampire fangs. Jar of goo? I... Uh, I don't really care for any of this, to be honest. Companion weight one. What does that mean by weight? Companion weight determines how many companions you can have summoned. One out of one. Wait, so if I have multiple... Can I... Wait. So, this has a companion weight of two, does it? Wait. Oh! 0 0.5. So I can use two jellyfish. These just have electric damage, right? They do lightning damage. And these do striking damage? But I like thrusting damage. I mean, I don't really care. I, I, I like the two jellyfish. They're doing all right for me. And I can sell all this. I don't... Some items need a tuning before their effects... I don't, I don't understand. I don't know if that's doing anything. I don't think it is. Okay, intelligence. You already know it. A lot of visual noise, I will say that. It's a little hard to tell what's going on with all the spiders. Booze. What is booze? I'm going to take the dexterity for the XP. But maybe we'll explore all that stuff in the future. What is happening? That shark was fast. We lost a block. Wear weapons? Happy trumpet. That does, like, no damage. That also does no damage. Galactic Bible. Increased orbital speed. I don't have any orbitals. But this seems like it'll sell for the most. So do I have any room? I don't have any room. Okay, I'm going to repair my armor points. Uh, by pressing 8. I don't know how to get my block back. And, I mean, I'm probably just going to take this and... Keep the rest of my stuff. Costs health to open. 
I, uh, I'm gonna. I have four health. Like, I don't know if it's gonna use my. Question is, is it going to use my, uh, soul heart first? It used a block actually. Heart charm. Okay, but like, where's my extra heart though? <laughs> Hello? Hello? I'm still gonna go for the the XP. I want more effects. Okay, the room's complete. Nope, we're gonna go for strength. Okay. The room's complete. Boom. Let's go. Let's see what we have for buying items here. Chocolate. We get more intelligence. So this thing scales on A with intelligence, right? Yeah. It's doing 3,231 now with extra. Oh, because strength is also in, is also scaling the, the spiders. Wow, this item is disgusting. Um. I could do that, but it's also lowering my dexterity. And I think dexterity makes my attack speed, which also gets me more, more bonus damage for the amount of attack speed I have. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use a die. Sniper bow. Last 10 rooms. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Don't mind if I do. On the tally of 10 primary attacks gain trigger mania. Orbital damage scales with each point of XP up to the up to four times. Wait, what? I think that was like not showing the right thing. Yeah, it was showing this for some reason. Wait, oh, this is orbitals. I mean, that's kind of cool. Trigger mania is an emotion buff that grants 100% trigger damage and lasts four seconds. Trigger damage is all damage that comes from effects that explicitly use the trigger keyword on lucky hit and stuff. I think that sounds good. I'm not sure if that actually does anything for us. But anything anything to do with any of the food scales my spiders, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do that. Curse? No thank you. I'm avoiding curse as much as possible. Me big, you weak, I crush you. I don't think you do. I think you die in like four hits. I mean, yeah, this is stupid. <laughs> I almost got hit there. Where's he at? Get him, spiders. Why are there big ships? Oh, now I have the extra heart. Wait, what happened? Did it give me the extra heart the second I left the next stage? Grants plus one luck? Flame shield. I lose two armor though. Periodically inflict scorch. Scorch is a stackable fire element that increases fire damage taken from hit. I don't do any fire damage. Block. Yeah, I got block already. Uh, but I've got a helmet already. That does the uh, the missiles. I think right. Oh, exploding dove. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I've been noticing that. To be honest. Set gloves. Thief gloves. Lock picking. Uh, attempts. It gets five dexterity, which could be huge on. I don't know if like that might scale up my damage higher overall instead of doing the this is on a lucky hit. If I get a lucky hit, then it does the exploding dove, but I might be able to just increase the damage of my spiders significantly with the gloves. Wait, these are gloves. I'm so oh wait, I'm so dumb. We're talking about helmets here, and this is this is the helmet. If I do the, the, this, I remove the missiles, which is not a good idea. Never mind. I think that this one might sell for the most. I don't. What is this? That's the Bible. All right, time to take this blessing, and we'll just buy this and we'll go. All right, next floor. Okay. 
I, I, I don't, still don't know what a tuning does, to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna go for strength. Go on, spiders. Do your thing. Oh, yeah, intelligence. Oh, my. That is a big ring of fire. What is happening? Locked just that gains rewards. I, I might just invest in more keys. Okay, we're good. I'll take the uh, overall intelligence because we do scale better on intelligence. Even though, like I said, if we do re reduce our dexterity, I think we we lose a bit of attack speed, which turns into more damage because of the trait. But let's do the uh, where could it lead? What is this thing? I'm scared. Okay, I wasn't sure what we were supposed to do there. We were supposed to spam space. Did I, did I get it? Tuna. Grants Ocean Bounty. Ocean Bounty is a buff that grants 10% increased damage, 5% increased attack speed, and 5% uh, increased movement speed for 20 rooms. I mean, yeah? That's my floor button? Okay. Upgrade armors and equipment. I don't, I don't know if I have enough money for that. We could try to look. It's probably going to be pretty expensive, though. Already at max. Oh. So I just got my armor... I just got my armor back? Okay, I did. And my, my spiders are doing like 4,000 damage now. Um, they want to go to a shop. Can I sell things in here? I can't. Horn helmet. A tomb. Okay, this one has a tomb at zero out of one. Three random award rewards. I think I'm going to go for this. Open it. Wait. Open. Uh, six. Okay, a bunch of keys, and I got another green blossom, so I'm going to use one. Which means I get stamina surge? I can't tell if the spiders are less effective. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> There's so much going on. On draining an accumulated amount of 0 0.5 mana, trigger unpredictable sparks that deal 27 to 1100 damage. Your companions grant no stats to you, but can have plus two maximum companions. <laughs> Wait. I think that's really good. Because I don't think my companions do anything. I'm scared to do this. But I think I can have six jellyfish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is this? Like, is this? I don't know what this slot is. Hello, Phoenix. You're gonna die in like two seconds. So. I mean, yeah, that was a uh, very fast phase one. Had to be inside here, I think. Go on, spiders. Do your thing. I mean, my health is just off the charts. I am I am so healthy. This is the healthiest I've ever been in a video game. Ooh, wait. Purple's like super rare, isn't it? Epic boots. Flip-flops. Lucky hits from primary attacks guaranteed a cursed hit with your next primary attack. Cursed hit from primary attacks guaranteed a lucky hit with your next primary attack. <gasps> what is happening? Isn't that like disgusting? Wait, are these shoes? Do I not have shoes yet? <laughs> They're shoes! They look like wings. I think that's just overall good. I don't know what happens with spiders. I don't know if that does anything. Fully recover. What? Is there anything to fully recover? I don't... Oh. Plus strength and dexterity.
Yep, everything's dead. Give me that burger. How much damage are my spiders doing? 6,700! What is going on? I, do I scale better on dexterity? It's the same. That does nothing. It does make my attack speed faster, which technically means my spiders will be doing more damage. Let's grab another soul heart. But I, I, to be fair, that's extra XP too. Uh, set item. I don't have any set items anyway. Let's go for a random resin. Let's find out what the resins do now. Grants crystal pine resin on consumption. Is a cold infusion that grants 15 to 35 cold damage. I mean, sure. Let's just use that. Oh, I can sell stuff. Finally. Let's sell the stamina surge. Okay, he has no interest in it. Okay, so let's just use that. I don't really... I'll just refresh to the one that I have. Let's do this. 10 gold. I'll sell the... the I would just like my jellyfish, honestly. Galactic Bible. Alright, Shadow Grass Tome. I'm sorry we have to go. Can I wear this now? I can wear this now. My alignment isn't any any better, so I think I should wear this. Where'd my block go? Oh, it's on a second row. <laughs> um, and this is just good to have a repair. I'm going to sell this. Four gold. Let's buy some items. Well, I just put my armor on. I don't really want to do that. Do I have any refreshes? I don't have any shop refreshes. Okay, so. I don't want to go for the curse. I don't think I want to find out what curses do. Are my companions still alive? Do they have health? Can they die? I don't I don't know. Agility potion. Movement speed. Sure. Okay. Blow that up real quick. Got two keys? Yeah. Go for the strength. Oh, I did not see the uh, the arrow coming from behind. One legendary item. I think it was lucky. I think that must be a lucky draw. Oh my, what brings you to me? I'd be sure that I will take great pleasure in your suffering. Is this succubus? It is. Oh. Very tough boss. Very tough boss indeed. We could have had so much fun. Do me a favor and don't beg for mercy, okay? I mean, did you see how quickly you just went to phase two? Am I, am I blind? This might be the most disgusting run. I mean, I don't know what the average run looks like in this game, but this is stupidly good. Now, what are you? Viper Loop. Legendary accessory. Damage over time effects inflicted by critical hits deal 100% more damage. I don't think I have any of those. <laughs> I don't think I have any of those. I don't have any of those. That really sucks. Do I have periodical effects now? I can't keep track of everything. <laughs> I just can't. I'll put this on because I don't know if that does something for me. Plus, like, the, the accessory would have removed a health. I don't really want to do that. Um, I might as well gain a favor here. And we will just go for more health. I like to be nice and strong. I want to go for intelligence. Perfect. Let's just take a quick look at our damage. We're actually down damage. What happened? Am I dumb? Was the alignment actually doing that much damage? 
You know, you know, sometimes you learn things. I guess I should have checked my alignment. What is my alignment at? Where is alignment? Misk? I seriously do not know where my alignment is. Am I blind? Alignment. I'm neutral. So it wasn't that. Maybe it has something to do with some of the buffs. Wait, contains legendary weapons? <laughs> Balrog Wand. This is S tier scaling. But look at how low the scaling is. Or like, I guess because I'm plus four on the spider. Codex. Imps that deal thrusting damage. Grants four companions. This might be interesting to just have and test. Holy! Primary attacks deal 1100 to 5039 energy damage. Can only be active for four seconds at a time and then has to be on cooldown for four seconds. Ew. Let's try throwing the imps on at the same time. Wait, what? They just have imps that are happening? Let's try this for a little bit, because this does... Actually, does not do a lot of damage. Go for a lock chest. We have six keys. Okay, I can already tell it's way, way worse. I'm doing 9,000s on lucky hits. Charcoal Pine Resin. Sure. We're just doing like 7,000 damage. Casually. Alright, then we filled all of our traits here. On lucky hit, gain cheap shot, increasing secondary attack damage. Secondary attacks are attacks that explicitly stated to be secondary attack on the weapon. I don't think I have any of those. Um. Ooh, that's really bad. A reroll. Infusion buffs are permanent? On completing a combat encounter room without taking damage, gain a stack of raised morale. Stackable buff that grants 10% increased damage dealt by you and your companion. Companions? Oh, but you lose it if you take damage. I mean, that could be really stupid, though. We're about to end the game. <laughs> so I don't really think it matters much. I don't have any buffs or aura radius. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this, even though I think we're on like, the last like floor or so. I guess we go for a tavern. You have to purchase a green blossom. Green blossom? Oh, that's what I was just using. Oh, here's... You can get alignment at the taverns. No, oh, thank you. Mead adds tipsiness. Mead is a stackable booze buff that grants 10% increased melee attacks. Nope. Oh. I don't know if enchanting is a good idea. Does that get rid of like an effect on it? Or does it add to it? I might hate doing this. I'm going to try it, but... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Disenchanting. Twenty-five percent increased damage dealt to enchanted enemies. I mean, like I wait, it's doing way less damage now. Am I am I crazy? Like, why is it? It's like lower now. What happened? I'm just gonna go. Already at max. Let's get my armor back. 
Let's go for the strength. I don't quite understand how the damage is working on this weapon. One charm, sure. This is the final boss. Holy. All right. <laughs> Go on, spiders, do your thing. Okay. Oh, we have one more floor to go. So I think we're, we got two raised morales so far. Oh, I gotta get my souls here. Is that a Christmas sweater? Ugly Christmas sweater. Periodically intimidates all enemies in the room. I don't think I have any periodical effects that makes that better. I don't care about that. Alright. So the attack speed immediately goes right into my damage, I think. So that might be 5% increased damage. I don't have enough. I have 30 souls. Sure, more health. <laughs> I'm at, at max H XP, so I can just do this to get more stats. Okay, things have gotten really crazy. I should have gotten more uh, more stamina. I can still repair my armor if I get hit one more time, though. Dexterity growth is a status effect that uses a stack of increased dexterity gain from a pickup by one. Wait, that's three? Oh, I see. You have three stacks. So you can gain extra dexterity three times. Perfect. So we're back up to 6,490, but I don't know why it went down. Uh, we don't really need more mana. Like, I don't know if my spells are less effective when you're using the red mana. I don't really quite understand what's going on. Let's try the lock chest. We got four keys. Ouch. Okay, so I'm going to use my three to get my armor back. We got a Megas Amulet. Increases magic find. We're on the final stage. I don't think that really matters. Also, it needs attunement, so. Sure. Oh, we got hit, so we lost our companion thing. I just realized. Kind of important to stay hitless. Epic gloves. Damaging hits that deal body damage grant key boost. I don't understand body damage though. Unarmed damage is body damage? Is that... I mean, what are my gloves though? I think the missiles are good. I don't think I want to do that. I don't know. Why would I just get a stack of curse? Oh, dispels one stack. Mana worm. Summons a mana worm companion. I don't really know. I want my six jellyfish. I don't really care for either of these. I could have re-rolled it. I'm so dumb. I have dice. One final rest. I'll attune anything that I have to be attuned. 
Okay. Fully recover. Refills my flask. Wait, I have a flask? I might have missed that information. How do I use my flask? I've never been in the need to use it, but I guess it exists. Is that the flask right there? <laughs> I don't have any souls. Okay. In the end, all mortals bow to death. This is death. Count me impressed, but nonetheless, your time has come. You need to die. Yeah, but it's death. It's too bad I do, like, a stupid amount of damage. I swear he's hitting me. Alright, buddy. I'm sorry, but a little too easy. Enough. The missiles are going off quite often. Oh man, you are just a joke. Ah, uh, that was... These spiders might be the, uh... The best weapon in the game. I, I, I think so. Why am I getting items exactly? Knife, knife shoes. <laughs> okay. I mean, mine's just crazy. I don't think I want, I don't understand. Are we going somewhere? 25% increased companion damage. <laughs> I feel exhausted. Cold winds try to get hold of you. Let them take you? I... You can keep trying, but I tell you, you have no choice. What? <laughs> Was I supposed to say yes? <laughs> what the heck is that? Did I lose? Or did I win? My world tier is now tier 2. Achieving this world objective enables a new set of enemies to appear. A new dawn. Your world tier is now 2. Okay. Oh, snap. Okay. So we did quite a few things. We have... Oh, we have a whole like... Okay, we gotta explore this next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was a lot of fun. Uh, the spiders were kind of broken. <laughs> Absolutely busted. Uh, but we're going to be going into the, uh, the the meta progression here in the next episode. And then looking at the new characters. As well as the world tiers. Because apparently we're, we're doing things here. I don't know what's going on. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, have a great day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.